Okay, so I am cutting into this video just to do a second video um, for you guys. I've had some people ask me about baking with Ben Nye and how to do it and how long to leave it on your face. I've already done my foundation. I've done my eyes. Um, I have not um, done my under eye eyeliner yet or done my mascara because I want to leave this sitting on long enough. So I'm going to do all that when I put this on going to contour my face and I like to use the Bahama Mama by the Balm. This is like one of my favorite um, bronzers that I use to contour with. I use this Real Techniques uh, brush. Let's see, it's by Sam and Nick Chapman. I like this one because it's very tapered and thin on the end as you can kind of see. I'm just going to dig into this a little bit and I'm just going to start at the top of my ear and go down. You can always make this little face too. So I'm just going to start with doing that, a fairly deep line. I'm going to go over here and do this side. Before I move on, what I'm going to do is instead of just having my contour right here, I'm going to kind of darken up around my hairline, just add a little shadow there, and then I'm going to blend everything in. This is where you're going to put on your Ben Nye for a little bit on here. I'm not sure if you can see that. And I'm going to use just a little triangle sponge. Now you can get these at Walgreens, um, probably Walmart, beauty supply store, they'll have them. And you're just going to pick up a decent amount on the end of it, you can see. And then you're just going to make a sharp line, go underneath it, and just tap it. Now there's going to be a little fallout, that's okay. But you want to do this really thick. So you see how I have the line going really thick? And the good thing about using these little triangle sponges is the line is super straight on the end. So that helps use a guide. As you're tapping it down, you'll see the line and you can just continue to tap down that line that way that stays even. And you just wanna fill this in really, really good. So now that I have my bake on, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna start doing my under eyeliner. I'm going to do my eyelashes and I'm going to go ahead and put on my blush. And then once I get to that point, we'll pick up this video and I'll show you what I do to take it off and blend everything together. Now I'm going to take the bake off. See, it's very important to do the baking um, after you get all your foundation on and get your eyes on. Um, the very least, just do you, you know your foundation and get your contour going. Um, that is because you wanna leave this sitting on here as long as you can. The more it sits, the more defined that line gets. So um, this is another one of the Real Techniques brushes um, that came in that duo pack by Sam and Nick Chapman. And this also has kind of a tapered end on it as well. And I really like this just for taking off powders like this. But once you are ready to do that, just get any kind of brush, um, just powder brush or a tapered big brush like this, and you just wipe it off. You can see there is a huge difference in the line here, how straight it is and how the difference in colors are and it blends really well with any skin tone color so it really doesn't have any downfalls to it so I wouldn't worry about it being too light for your skin or too dark for your skin. I hope you like this video and I hope that it helped you so that you understand how to bake your face. If you want to see how I created this entire look then go click the link below in the description video and you can see how I do this entire look for you guys. Now stay gorgeous!